Hey guys, it's Carl from Commently Hobbies again. So we've had chats about chronographing. Um, what we want to do today is actually show you how to chronograph correctly. Because one of the things we'll see, someone will put a shot through the chronograph and say, okay, that's what my boss is doing. Guys, you've got to put quite a few shots through, get yourself a pretty solid average. So chronograph specifically when you're firing through them, single shots but one after the other will give you different results to fully automatic and I'll show you what I mean by that now. So when you've got your chronograph you want to make sure you set it up correctly as well. So the weight of a gel is about 0 0.02 grams and the size is about 7 inch mils so that's what we set it up for. So I'm going to put a couple of shots through on single fire, a couple of shots through on full auto and you can see the difference in the results we get. Just sneak him in there. So 270s, now these are all just single shots. What's that sweet spot? All right. So those are the results I'm getting on single fire. Alright guys, so after we've run some rounds through there, so that's more than just one. That's given us a lot of averages there. So you got to remember guys, if you're going to sit there and chrono them, you can't just sit there and fire a shot through because you won't get all your readings and it won't be as on point as if you run through. And look, you can run through multiple shots in single or full auto. As I said, they will show slightly different results, but in saying that, you know, as long as you've done quite a few shots, you'll get your average. All right, guys, hopefully that helps.